Tonight, a woman accused of killing her own mother inside their home in Kissimmee. Osceola County deputies had to tase the daughter to get her under control. Fox 35's Dave Puglisi is live outside the sheriff's office tonight. And Dave, you've uncovered some gruesome details in this case. John and Luann, it's all detailed in this arrest warrant. Sheriff Lopez actually believes that it was Gonzalez herself who called police saying things like someone is going to die. This is a mother and a daughter relationship, which is obviously a tragedy, tragedy for the entire family. The gruesome details of a murder line the pages of Natalie Gonzalez's arrest warrant. Her mother found dead in a pool of blood in the shower inside the Kissimmee home where they both live. And her body showed signs of blunt trauma and puncture wounds. Gonzalez's arrest warrant claims the 32-year-old told deputies she thought her mother was a woman named Becca in disguise and had kidnapped her. She claims she, quote, did what she did to free herself and that she thought it was all a bad dream. I saw the lady come out and she had a hammer and scissors in her hands. A witness inside the Buena Ventura Lakes community recalls seeing Gonzalez as deputies arrived. Deputies say they found Gonzalez in wet, blood-stained clothes. She did not put it down until officers told her she had to put it down over and over, and then she started running in front of my house. Gonzalez's first appearance over the weekend was postponed after deputies were forced to tase her to get her under control. Today, she waived her rescheduled appearance. I'm on a high risk status at this time. Now, Gonzalez, Gonzalez admitted that she did strike her mother with a hammer, although she didn't know that it was her. She says that her mother is her best friend. She's currently being held here without bond. In Kissimmee, Dave Puglisi, Fox 35 News.